Hey everyone, Magic Flying Potato here, and this is a Survival Fountain of Youth. I have played the demo beta version of this game, and now I'm playing the full release. I am skipping the intro portion, so we're going to just start off with the shipwreck. And uh, it's going to be a, a survival series, so let's see how long I get survived the first couple of days. I am playing normal mode, I am playing uh, tourist mode, so not permadeath. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. Go ahead and take the grotto. This is one location we need to find early in the game. And with this playthrough, I do have access to the chest. So I think I'm going to take the leather backpack. And I think I want to take... I'm going to take the navy coat because this will protect me from the weather effects. No turning back. Going out the window. So waking up on the beach, don't know where I'm at. Here are the portions of the shipwreck. So again, this is a this is a hardcore survival game. So let's take a quick look at some of the things in it. So this is the statuses, um, as you can see right here. Character stat, near death. Uh, I had a near death experience. It's reflected in my health stat permanently. The health penalty increases each time I faint. Only living water from the fountain of youth can help us reduce this penalty. So this will always be here. The effects is negative 10 health, but I could help it out by taking a living water. This game has things like cuts, weather effects by sun, cold, a disease, anything that can happen to you in real life is is what can happen to you. And it could get worse if you don't if you don't try to heal yourself from the effects. Here is your inventory right here, your crafting menu. There are tons of things in this game to craft. And as you discover more, you unlock more. Journal, this is the your quest log. It tells you, guide you where to go. Character right here. So you have survival uh, abilities, which increase over time, survival task, and skills. So a lot of this stuff is passed passive progressive so as you do the skill you build up on it and increase here is a map and this has as once we find the tree to map this out you'll see what happens here and down here is your standard survival game stats your your food your thirst your energy your health this red bar is that that uh, perma stat that they're talking about that is um the near death experience so that does affect us here is the time of day weather also day night cycle so that's something we have to really keep an eye on so let's go ahead and just get started and get doing this it's gonna go ahead and pick up the items on the beach and as you can see as i pick things up blueprints do get unlocked pile of scrap So if you see up in the top right corner, it says find a picture of the grotto. So if I hit J, come down here, here is the grotto map. So if we look here, this is the grotto location on the map. So they want us to look for this balancing rock. Uh, these bones laying on the beach and there will be the grotto in there. I do know where it's at. And if you look around, you kind of could figure it out. Kind of, that looks like a balancing rock. But before we do that, I do need to get some basic survival stuff out of the way. Go ahead and and every everything you do in this game takes time. So as you can see, if I want to get the two coke, the four coconuts, it's going to take me 20 minutes to do. But I don't have a suitable cutter, which is going to be a knife. So I need to, to make some items before I do anything else. I also got to watch my weight. And again, being that I have played the the demo version of this, I do know where items are at right off the start, which helps out somewhat. Oh, I need to make a tool for that. So we're going to go over to the crafting menu. As you can see, a lot more things has opened up. I'm going to make this stone axe, which requires the stone and a small stick that I got off the ground and off the tree. And with that, we could cut this tree down right or the this we don't want to cut the tree down 
we want to gather resources so if we gather resources if i go back in and interact with it the resources will restore in 21 days if i cut this down that means they will not restore so don't want to do that as of yet go ahead gather some more of these these long sticks are very important and basically in the early portion of the game hard to get some other this other resources and i am overloaded because my as you can see right there so i am slowed down what i'm gonna do is i need to get some water so i'm going to use these gonna open these coconuts up go back into my inventory get some water or eat them yeah get some water okay so i'm full up on my thirst level which reduces helps reduce my uh weight as well come over here i do want to make a spear so come over here weapons is right here um i need to make a fire starter as well there it is craft one of these and also when you're crafting during the daytime you have a chance of injury and at night that chance of injury goes up so that's something to be aware of as well as as it gets darker it gets harder to do things gonna go ahead and take out a couple of crabs use my spear to do so all right so i'm gonna go ahead and place a fire over here go to crafting come here don't have enough sticks all right so i need to collect sticks i am gonna place a bed here i don't think i have enough uh interact don't have enough resources so i need to get some more there we go so now i have a bed and I also need some more sticks, so I'm going to come back over to these trees. There are sticks that are on the ground as well. Come back over here, as you can see, night is starting to fall. Okay, crafting menu. Fireplace right here. I think I can make a fire pit, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to make a basic one. Trying to, I've been trying to figure out where to build a good, as you can see right here, hand chance of hand injury. Has increased because it is nighttime. And I forgot to craft this right here, so I'm gonna do it 21%. Interact, add fuel. Seven, eight hours worth. That's good enough. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and cook these crabs. And I'm gonna also make a steamed bandage. I'm gonna make a only one. As of right now, definitely need more of these and make one of these. And I am burning my burning my time at night. So before I go to bed, if I try to go to bed now, as you can see right here, it says quality sleep is not good if we need to get above 60. So I'm going to try to eat these pieces of food that I made and try to get above 60. That's 45. That's water. And I'm going to remove a couple of these. Now, I have a chance of getting sick by eating these. I can't cook them. Okay, so there's 60% right there. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, nope, not yet. I'm going to eat that last one to get above 60%. There we go. Yep. So as you can see, my health regen is going to be plus three an hour. And we could actually set the time to sleep. I am going to only sleep five hours because we don't want to burn daylight. Extinguish this so it does not continue to burn. And uh, we're going to head up to this tree. It's early morning right now. Sun's coming up in the east. Probably should have dropped some of these supplies off. Because I don't need to carry a lot of this. As of right now, I need to come over. There's a tree right here. If you look, these trees with vines on them. Uh, this is what you make rope with. You also have to watch out going into the woods like this. Because there are snakes scorpions and other bad things that are not good for you but you could you could hear the rattlesnake once you start getting close to them i won't it let me harvest these oh so tool durability is is something important also so i'm gonna go ahead and repair it and as you repair your tool durability does go down all right so with that i have unlocked some rope come over here to the inventory and we're gonna craft rope right here oh i need a uh narrow palm branch there is right here all 
Grab two of these. I only need one. Come up to this tree. Place the ladder. And with this, this is the cart uh, cartographer's... Uh, yeah, the cartographer's tree. Climb up here. Get up to the top. And right here, if you see, if you place... Hit E, you hit map. And with these two items that I made over here, these uh, mapping charcoals, I can go ahead and work on my map. See, it takes 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 a little time, hour, minute, but let's go ahead and drop that. Now I can see key points in this area of the island. This island is pretty big. As you can see, there is my, my primitive bed of leaves, different animals, and as we scroll in, we got key features on the map. Tobacco, short ear dogs, stones, and just other other key important things. This is the map of the islands. So we do want to make also want to make a boat to get off of this island. Right here, if you look, it kind of has some key features. Alright, so I'm gonna come over here in this nest. And I'm gonna take all of this. And if you interact 11 days before everything is restored. Going down the ladder is kind of janky. Oh, you, it's, you feel like you're going to fall down if you do it. But all you do is go push forward and keep pushing up as you go down the ladder. And as you can see, the, the, uh, the sun is out. So if I wasn't wearing the stuff that I am right now. So if we go over to the inventory, this is navy coat. As you can see, the protection levels. Protection from sun, wind, rain, cold plus five armor it decreases your wood uh your wound chance as well as your uh, chances of getting poison but everything has durability so i gotta watch out for not letting this get too beat up but there's not much i could do but i can also craft clothes here so i'm gonna go ahead and make a hat And make this. So if I go over to my inventory, as you can see, now I'm also wearing the these other pieces that do help with protection levels. So as you can see down here, my defenses now my sun protection is at 150%, and and just the percentages of of everything. So I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna head over to the grotto now. And I'm going to go ahead and call this one here. Uh, next episode, I'm going to go ahead and go to the grotto and start building a base and exploring the woods up behind the area where the uh, cartography tree is at. So if you like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment. That would be great. And as always, you guys have a great time out there exploring this island, trying to survive in a 16th century setting and enjoy your journey. And I am Magic Flying Potato and I am Oot.